We know from our study of Parkinson's disease that dopamine modulates activity in movement-related structures in the brain and affects voluntary movement. The motor impairment seen in patients is an extreme example of this. However, most researchers studying dopamine, like Mark here, do so from a completely different angle. There have been two long-standing parallel strands in the field of dopamine research. One has suggested that dopamine is really important for making and updating predictions about future rewards. The other has argued that dopamine is not just there to passively predict and learn, but instead to motivate actions to obtain those rewards. I was very excited after talking to, with Peter about his ideas relating dopamine and movement that we might be able to conduct an experiment that directly contrasted these ideas. We know that dopamine release increases in response to anything good happening, like getting food or money. But receiving any reward is also inextricably linked to reaching out to it or somehow moving towards it. We trained rats to press a lever for a reward. We then trained the same rats to stay in one location for around two seconds in order to obtain the same size reward. And we recorded dopamine release while the rats were either staying or going towards the lever. When rats hear the cue to go to the lever, dopamine release is immediately increased in a part of the brain called the nucleus accumbens. The bigger the reward they're expecting, the bigger the release. Interestingly, when they hear the cue to stay, no dopamine is released in the nucleus accumbens until they finally move towards their reward. So what we've shown here is that dopamine release is strongly affected by whether or not we move, which adds a whole other dimension to its role in guiding behavior.